Number 69, define these terms. And then we have letter B, bimolecular reaction. Okay, so in order to basically come up with the definition as to what a bimolecular reaction is, we could look at the parts of the word bimolecular. So we have the first term that's bi. Now, the two words that come to my mind is bicycle, right? And I think uh, bifocals for glasses, right? But for a bicycle, how many wheels are on a bicycle? Yeah, two. So the prefix bi in chemistry is also two. But now two what, right? Now we look at the next term. Two molecule. So kind of comes from the word molecules. So a bimolecular reaction is a reaction in which two molecules are your starting reactants. So whenever you have two reactants um, that make products, that's a bimolecular reaction. But there's one other catch here, is that for your bimolecular reaction, if you are calling it bimolecular, that means that whatever the reaction is has to be classified as an elementary reaction. And an elementary reaction is a single step reaction. What you see is what you get. So in essence, a bimolecular reaction is an elementary reaction that has two molecules as the starting reactants or the things that are on the left side. You can see this uh, with two examples. One example is if you have maybe two individual compounds or elements coming together. A plus B might yield AB. And that's cool, right? Here's my one reactant. Here's my other reactant. And then you're good to go here. Another way of showing a bimolecular reaction is if you have one reactant, but you got two of them. So instead of saying that you have two different reactants, maybe you just have one reactant, but you have two of them. So we could really say this as, you know, 2A yields whatever. A good example of this would be maybe we are talking about ozone, which is O3. And if I have two of them, let's just say that this elementary step, uh, I have six total oxygens. So maybe I have three O2s now. So the O3s turned into O2s. But keep in mind, nobody cares about the products naming a molecular reaction always comes from your reactants. And since you have two ozones, these, all these would be classified as bimolecular. And we're saying that they're elementary steps as well, because what you see is what you get. It's only one single step. So that's, that's basically it. So that's it. Bimolecular reaction, an elementary reaction that has two molecules as your starting reactant, or two substances as your starting reactants. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will talk to you. Uh, I'll talk to you later. All right. Hope you're having a great day. And yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.